Hello, reptile geeks. Well, today, me and Justin caught a bunch of spadefoot toads. So, we split them half and half. Each of us took, mm, I'd say, yeah, about three. So, I set up a cage for them, and I want to show you the cage. The cage is actually pretty nice. It's a uh, critter keeper. I have my Arizona Mountain Tree Frog in there as well. We're going to actually be doing the spadefoots next show. Uh, if you want to learn more about spadefoots, visit the website. We have information about all of our herps that we do on the show. Well, here's the cage. Ugh, you can barely see it through there. But there's some of the spadefoots. It's fairly clear water. It's settled. Here, I'll get a inside view. Hold on just a second. Sorry, I'm going to set the camera down. Here's an inside view. Let me take the light and kind of just... Oh, wait. Oh. My tree frog might jump out. But... Here's the cage. It's fairly nice, actually. It's fairly big. It's big enough for a large amount of spade foots. But there it is. If you want to see pictures, uh, I'll have a link up for photo bucket of the cage and the spade foots. Along with the tree frog right there. You can barely see him. Oh! Hold on. Okay, there. Yeah, now you can see it a bit better. Oh! Oh my! Oh! If you heard that, the tree frog just slammed himself. Well, anyways. Alright, well. I'll see you later, YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll see you later, Reptile Geeks. Uh, I'll be doing some of... Well, Justin will be videotaping himself, showing you some of his cages. Uh, and we'll be announcing if they're going to be on the next show. So we'll see you later, Reptile Geeks and YouTube.